Hello, hello, and welcome back to another stream. Well, Baldur's Gate 3! Yeah. <clears throat> I was a little squeaky there. Baldur's Gate 3! There we go. A little better. Oh, pep in the step. And without much further ado, I think we're gonna jump actually right back into the game. We're going to continue playing. It's zero to get tactical view. Where was that hint, you know, last session? You can drag objects in the world to move them. Stronger characters can move larger objects. Good to know, good to know. So I think uh, before we delve into that uh, hole that we created, Maybe we ought to uh, hunt for an additional companion. All audio settings can be adjusted. Well, of course. Of course. Hmm. I think in the future I may have this loaded in already so we don't have to uh, stick through the loading screen. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's a nice little start, to say the least. The Dead 3. So, last time we um, took a little damage, but we managed to um, knock out a couple grave drops. Well, I don't even know if this is not technically a grave. It's a. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, some old church maybe? Oh, hold up. Ooh! Ooh, I like that! I like that a lot. You're telling me I can uh, teleport? That is quite convenient. terrain can still hurt. Duly noted. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, <laughs> twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. I should have helped you, don't worry. I'll get them out of here. Deception, this is a dangerous creature. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Persuasion. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Attack the teeth, legs, and leaves. Hmm. 
could try the deception route and see if we can get them to. Can we add. Add the guidance just to make sure. Hey. Can't hurt, right? Success! He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specific. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Oh, I got. If I feel this, then I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And oh, be okay. careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Now that they're out of earshot, sure. Say please. Never. <laughs> That's Darian disapproves. <clears throat> Observe and listen. You'll hear Enough goblins gawking. calling. Um. Oh. What's holding you up? Hold on. Hit O. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I see the rope. Let me pull you up. How did you guys? <clears throat> Enough dawdling, get me down. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Ah. Just plain all of you. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Well, that's... That's... Acceptable? I mean, okay, but what is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Okay. Join me then, but I'll be watching you closely. We'll go our separate ways, I think. I think you wouldn't have gone amiss. Um... I mean, you can't get a please out of her, so I don't think I'm gonna get a thank you out of her either, so... Sure, but let's keep an eye on You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A Kresh must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Sure. Let's get the, the level up. And get a full idea of what we're actually dealing with this deal. Ooh, decent health. Nice. So you're just a fighter. Awesome. <clears throat> you're kind of hurt now. From... No time to dally. I see. You're 
the red. Quite ready for you. You've got no magic to heal. Blackets will be done. Shoddy work. Nothing to lose. But that kind of kills us the... Alright, so now we need to find the camp. And they said the camp was to the north. Alright. Quest. There's a camp nearby where someone in Nettie can supposedly heal any wound. She might be able to help remove the parasite. I don't think that's the front more. Find someone else because the teeth in him still has some other advantage. Right, right. Okay. I think he said north. Uh my ability to pay attention is not clearly the best. Whoa, what is that? Why is it shiny? Why do I want to pick it up? Okay, well they definitely were heading what, this way? No, this is leading me back to where we were fighting. Don't get me wrong, I want to go here next, but let's go heal up and I guess back over here. I hear shouts from up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Wait, I missed that. What are we checking out? Oh shit! No, no, no! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Barth, Ramira, I should think that with the, the high ground. Open the bloody gate. Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Ooh, that's not a goblin. By the nine hells! Open the gates! <laughs> Keep it closed. At that point, stick to. Ooh. Oh, shit, Damn. Too late now, bub. Form a line! Form a line! Roach. Provoke the blade. Oh. And suffer its sting. <laughs> nice. Okay. Bolt smash. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yes. That's awesome. 
your turn. Okay. Um. Well. Let us. Not up for now. Only a twenty five percent chance, really. <laughs> a critical mess. Okay, we'll show him off the ledge. Climbing up. I want the high ground. High ground! Before it gets cold. Good. You're hurt. This way. I'm up for now. Oh, it takes two. How is he not a target? Don't have the action for that. Okay, cool. I want you to so to come right. Uh, I need. Didn't need you up there, I guess, initially. <laughs> he did not like his friend sleeping, that's hilarious. Alright, y'all lift and lift. Action surge. Ooh, good. Good hits, good hits. But, okay. Oh, he woke him back up. I see, I see, I see. Yes. Your turn. Alright. Alright, 
I want you on high ground casting magic. I also want you on higher ground casting magic. Situational action. A general tutorial. You are not, you have unlocked an action as a result of another ability, feature, or condition. You will remain at the side of the hot bar until those conditions expire. What's the situational talk? And where do I see the situation? and also a disadvantage. Well, I don't want to shoot at disadvantage, so... Can we dash? Jump, dip, jump, go. Most hurt. That was not who needed that. The last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Soldier, no one left behind. Lazel is inspired. Press P. This place doesn't look like much. I mean, let's go. Taste of goblins to come, I fear. Must be a horde nearby. Black. Uh. Better to be a soft bedroll in my near future. I don't know where 
bone stop us, but let's take fancy gloves. In we go. Oh, hey, remember that lady that we were trying to kill? We must run it for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Druid, those goblins didn't take any prisoners. You can cough up my payment any time now. Stop squalling like hatchlings and settle the slaughter is below. Fighter, I see much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. Um. Chill. Chill, chill. Okay. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut their horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. Damn. Okay. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Stand back and watch. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Do I want to? I mean, I'm okay with watching this du duke out. What does that have to do with me, right? <clears throat> with a thunk, the armored man collapses. Yeah, knock his ass unconscious. out. Unconscious. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Right. And they're trying to kill him. For once. Come, let's interrogate the locals. First, I damn near die at the hands of goblins. Then, a foul blood takes his frustrations out on me. <clears throat> I'm done with this hellhole. Bye. You must have history. I guess you will uh, bravely make it by yourself. Isn't it delightful? Now that's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Greetings. I take my thanks and coin. Uh, A druid's grove dedicated to the oak father Sylvanus. You'll find its keepers just as thorny. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Sylvanus? As in the Sylvanesti? As in... the Dragonlance series? I have no quarrel with the druids. I don't. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins have been... Have there been many attacks alike? I won't be staying long, I just need to find a healer. I mean, um... Do I want to hear your story? Sure, let's hear your story. Byron. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay. But we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I'm in need of a healer. Can you help me there? Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer. But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Why are you so upset about this ritual? Can you blame him? I don't. Is there no way to stop the druid's ritual? I mean... You know, then we've got swords. You can stop it if you really wanted to. And what brought you here? We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate. 
and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Mm. Okay, I mean, if your people survive that, they'll survive anything. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Maybe your people should have stayed in hell. No, that's pretty fucked up, to be honest. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Uh, if your people survive that, they'll... you guys are hardy people. So I hoped, but we've lost so many already, and more will die. We're forced out again. You really want me to stop the original? Okay. I've tried. Corga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps not you really. could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I've got my own problems. Um. What are you offering for my aid? God, nothing. Why are you trying to force me abroad? We'll see what we, we can do. We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Sure. Peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. With your ill-gotten gains discarded, the accusation fizzles away. Oh, hi there. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, 
Not bad. Again. Not bad. Not necessarily good. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. What's up, you can Dr. Do this. Man? Hi, can I have a word? This wealth is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Oh, you too. Guess we both carry <laughs> the parasite. Another escapee, thank the gods. I, I need all the friends I can get. Who was that woman? The woman with that. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. What's up, man? Having a good day? So far, so good. Can't complain too much. Went to the gym a little while ago, just came back, had some lunch. Gonna stream for maybe an hour or two and then do my second round at the gym before I enjoy my evening. Might stream some more after that. Not sure yet. I'm more concerned about the parasite. I suggest we search for a healer together. Let's strength forces. I'll help you cast the devil black into the helms. You have a mind player tap on your head. Doesn't that worry you? That's a, that's a solid question. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid, and there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles, at least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck, but sooner or later, it's bound to run out. Join me then, and we'll find a cure together. I can help you hunt the double of yours. An excellent suggestion, but your party's for luck. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. And Gail approves. Sir, we are we going to have to fight hobgoblins? Ah. Hobgoblins? And again. Maybe. Swing oh. and swing and Are those worse than oh. hobgoblins? I saw you at the gates. <laughs> you fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. <laughs> wow. These hatchlings are weak. Your teachings will fail. I once sliced out a skewer I and ate it whole, and not out of hunger. I slit my own cousin's throat and tasted her blood. Jeez, what kind of stories are these? I don't think. Yeah, I will rip off a horde month player said and gift it to my Lich Queen. Sweet lord, I crawled inside a red dragon's corpse to stay warm among the tears of Saloon. Uh, God, you're not the story type. My and faith again. will guide me. Swing and swing. Maybe, maybe you have a better... I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. 
They are just children. Why are you teaching them to fight? Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. Be strong and watch over your kin. And trust their respect. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. You're welcome, chap. Zoru. That's the main guy, right? By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. You heard the woman. Bow, hold at least. Well, I'll see you to this one. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Enough stent down, I won't tell you again. Shocky. Fine. You can breathe again. I won't let her hurt you. You, tell me where you saw the Gethin. On the road, Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just... Ran. Well? The map. Show me. Thank you. Thanks for your help and apologies for my companion. No hard feelings. Map? Hunt down Carlock. shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with shut up this words could be your last step between the crossbow and the goblin do nothing Yeah. Well, let's see what the last words could be. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. All right, settle down there, kid. Calm down. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill her, too. <laughs> you, move. No other crossbow, or I'll deliver you right to your brother. No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? This won't avenge cannon. It won't change anything. Detect thoughts. We see the blue. Let's detect the thoughts. I love that guidance. Oof. Bingo, bingo. Cannon would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. Oh. What would Cannon think of you now? Don't you dare! <laughs> Damn you. Damn it. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? she's not a practice target she's a person she dies she'll take everything she knows to the grave a goblin prisoner her life is yours to take my reasons are my own your soft heart will be the death of us 
gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. All right. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends, warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. The Absolute? That's your god. I don't know them. Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You forgot my interest. Have any holy literature. Have any holy literature. That's hilarious. An all powerful goddess that can't get you out of your cage. Let's go the funny route because that's freaking funny. Goblins don't read. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own. Priestess Ga. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin. But she sounds very useful. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Nice story. Fight for a copper in a tavern, tavern nearby. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Deal. I'll get you out of here. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the pieces myself. No chance. You can rot in the cage. No, I'm okay with this. Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. Let me out, you bunch of softies. You gonna open this cage or what? I'll pick you up. Well, hurry up. I got all the time in the world. You don't. Uh. You're gonna be sorry. Every last one of you. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Oh, okay. Are you giving me permission to grab what I can? I told you. Not now. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. I mean... I ought to speak. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Sure. I'll take a bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. That's some gruel. Okay. And I'm not here to steal, and I'm not here to, you know, like, cause trouble in that sense. Auntie Ethel. Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you hurt? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. 
But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You'll take a sup at that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Drink the potion. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. I'm fine. Just bone very after a difficult day. That's the... Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. That's My hilarious. point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? I've got mind flying parasites in my head. I'm guessing she's not gonna enjoy that. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! Can't fix that, though? I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help, serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. A potion and lotion? Mm. <sighs> My time could be running short. I can't afford to spend a paying you a house visit. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty accurate. This is beyond the skill of a backwater herb peddler. Uh, I've a... collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Um, uh, sure. Hey, bother. Can I sell you stuff? Trading and bartering. There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. I mean, you've got the money. Potion of invisibility. was refused. Interesting. What if I toss in... Goblin junk. 
funny to do with that. now I've my good stuff. Got it. Two to seven, two to seven. Oh. Really, that's a better weapon. Two to seven, two to seven. One to six. the shovel I'm looking for. by accident. So you guys got all that for free because be careful on the road. Yeah, I okay buddy. If something happened to you. Take care, Peggy.
What do we got up here? Diana. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Don't mind me, I was just passing through. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Good teeth and refuge. Good luck to you. After. Anna. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Paint in a clean room. I do a world of good. Plans just surviving. I won't be joining you. I, I have friends waiting. Baldurian, it's the blushing mermaid for me. Good breath, but the ale's cheap. Baldurian, I'll be seeking the warmth of the Elven Song Tavern. Sure. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern. First thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. Sweet. Um, somehow I got a feeling you're not gonna live long enough to tell us the tale. Alright. Stone door. What do we have here? This is not where I was expecting to be going, to be honest. Ah, okay. What do we, what do we got here? Tiles and set floor. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. You're welcome. We might need it. You might have it. Ah, I've already spoken to your traveling companion. Well met. Have you spoken to Korga? Not yet. Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Okay, I understand that, good sir, but I don't even know where they are, to be honest. No word from the scouts yet. No, sir. Guess we'll go out the stone door. I'll find it. Yes. Please, hmm. have mercy. I'll talk to the guard at the Baldur's Gate. All right. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? And what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Bits and bobs! Sweet lord! Um... Yeah, I can't afford that. I mean, bits and bobs. You've got... You've got good stuff, don't get me wrong, but I can't afford it, unfortunately. 
Sylvanas, guide your path. Thank you. I mean, you're nice enough about it. Assuming it's this way then? Watching. Need to keep going. Unseen. Perfect. I'll take this way. Please, let us through. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <laughs> Alright, so the druids ain't fucking around. Noted. Hello there! Gentle giant. Secret's cool. <laughs> Settle down there, bub. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! If it weren't for me, you'd be over in Bagamas right now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down there? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? Ignore and proceed. No. And you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh. Well, thanks, Mino. Do you have anything to say? are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. Okay. Volo? The legendary Volo? Yoda! Hello! Hold up. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating no my interest. Volo's Guide for Legendary... Monsters or something like that? And there's no overstating my disinterest. I have no time for this. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, yes. nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin yeah. behavior. There we go. Seems all the others give a exact description. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue. And wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. Oh, don't and say the that. dragon they had marching in the rear. Was it of the brass or silver variety? Yeah, they were nailed. <laughs> the truth, my friend, not a jot more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? Sure. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Scandal? Girl and superstition, not worth the ink. You hold it. What do you think? Maglebiot makes of the scandal. Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since what? their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, 
intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. That's hilarious. Be careful. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Alright, well, so these are the guys that we have to interrupt. Carrick. Um. Who am I supposed to talk to? It's Carrick, right? So, uh, pull the lever! No, can't do that yet. Um. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursheim friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Agen full amour in umbra tua, pater amor. Okay. Can't remember the names, unfortunately. Defende nos ab imenete bus aquilebre o tuo. Okay, I want to know him. I don't think it was Elvin. Complexum tuum, ab terra utum, ad nos defera. Sure. Um. Speak. What were you saying to the bird? I'm looking for a healer. Find Nettie in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. The ritual is Corgus' decision. But she is not our leader. Master Halsin welcomes the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Hold your tongue. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Ooh. That's real high. Hey. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More the follow brethren. Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. I mean, I'm not necessarily looking to stop this. But who am I to tell you what to do with your camp? You know? And I don't necessarily understand how it's bad to kick out the, the people and tell them to go on their merry way. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Okay. We'll have to delve deeper into the... Into the grove. Keep their confidence if you insist. Would you 
Barely. Okay. <laughs> Enough waiting. I crave blood. Without delay. I don't know. We must speak. Come on, come up, Gail. This way. Okay, so that's gonna lead us back out. as yes. close as I can. Oh, it's out of sight. Okay. Okay. That's fine.
pawn to cleric four. Come on. You're okay. Why is this at such a... Good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Uh, you lost me with the coin mistress? I've been to Avernus, but not... By choice, you got me. <laughs> With the coin, I'll be on my way. Uh, that bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. Why, thank you, dread slayer of bugbears. You shall live forever in my memory. Wow. Now take my regards back to that pouting Irenes and leave me alone. Lady. Then our interests barely intersect. I'm sure there are other bugbears to kill. Best of luck finding them. What? Are you... Dude, are you nuts? Whatever comes, I'm uh, ready. No. This way. No. Come here. Did not just freaking kill you. From Hellspawn to Angry Druids. I'm definitely buying my way to Baldur's Gate. Peer through the telescope. Getting a funny call from my gym, but since I'm going back there later on today, not a problem. Perception. Squint at the distant option, trying to make any, any further details. Focus the telescope on the distant option, trying to get a clear view. Ah, uh, squint at the distant option. Well, you focus. You roll the dice. Got it. 
Oh, shit. There is a dragon. I saw it, you saw it, we all saw it. Watching it on replay. Here we go. Let's make sure, uh, can I... You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey. Hunting. Oh, we saw it once. Move the telescope to the left. The telescope points to the left. Okay, what about to the right? To the right! I guess it's thinking about. There we go. Now move it to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Move it more to the right. The telescope points to the right. Hmm. Okay. Not much else. Not much else to see there. From Hellspawn to Angry Druids. Yeah. I'm definitely buying. Got it. From Hell Spawn to Angry Druid. Stop that. Um. This way. So. Rika. Kaldani. I'm a little confused where... Oh, no, go back, go back. I mean, we're gonna have to make camp at one point or another just to heal up. I could understand you. To the sacred pool. Sure. Then, or Karg, or whatever his name is. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Mm. Here we go. You are Alphira. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile when pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Stay silent and listen. Let's start telling you something. How can I put this? It's a little unpolished. 
What's the change? No. Damn it! Mm. I can't balance them soon enough. It's not time for music. There's no reason which I could solo this way. I should know that. No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? See if you can help. That's a creative process. You've got agony and ecstasy, mostly agony. <laughs> Why are you songwriting now? Hardly the best time. You better swap that loot for a weapon. You'll need one soon enough. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? Hand me that loot. We'll perform together. Your face does not say you want to perform together, but let's My talk. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Not encouragement and gesture to a loot. Keep going. What would you say to your teacher if you were here now? That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you. For everything. Moon. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait.
sorry. Why are you sorry? Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. Are you smelling blood now? Are there gnolls nearby? Apparently you need to tell of all these Oh man. Shit. Oh, you have to come up with a fun tribute for her. She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the weeping dawn. For her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Uh, so you're a bard. I'd like you in my party. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. That's hilarious. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Because you're not the person I need. What? Hmm. Okay, I'm super confused as to who I'm supposed to be speaking to at this point. the door wow <laughs> oh, okay I'm sorry. have you lost your senses Koga? release her she stole the idol hey. Sylvanus mm. she must pay the price we will imprison the You've thief under of guard, demons my sir. And dragons. When we cast You're them, scared of wolves. She may join them. Let the devil Everyone be in it. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Poison the girls. That's this girl's actual crime. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Uh, nature. Druids don't share charming, but dealing with girls disrupts nature's balance. Release her. I'll see that she stays up to us. Sound prepared to attack. Well, I'm not looking to fight. Not yet, anywhere. Uh, hold on. Character sheet. No? Okay. Per 
persuasion. Let's try and persuade her, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, add bonus. That should subtract, you know. Ooh! Come on, roll high, 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 high. I can roll again. Use inspiration. Roll again. And that one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Critical failure. No. The tiefling remains until the rite is complete. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Oh, your snake is, prefer is prepared to kill this Sean. Do you want death on your hands? Imprisoning her empowers the refugee. Are you willing to risk insurrection? Let the child go so she can spread the word of the other of your might. Come on. Situational advantage. Yes. She is more valuable out there than in here. Sifisif, deal out to me! Sifisif! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. A hot spike of pain overcomes you, and a strange image is thrust in your mind's eye. You are a frightened little girl in a dark chamber. A hooded figure approaches, brandishing a rod. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Oh boy, I got a feeling we got to kill an uh, unruly... Oh, oh. We're not killing nothing. Not with what's in this room. Level 5, yeah, she would spank us without giving it the second thought. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I mean... Yes? Only a monster with threaten a child, you're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> um... I mean, okay, you're trying to protect your people. I get that. Is cruelty sometimes required? I don't agree, not personally. I'm a monster. You are a monster. But I can't take you out yet, and I'm not trying to take you out yet. Mm. Tough call. Just wanted to see what would happen. Ooh, yeah, I know. I know, right? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. And Lazel approves. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Right, about that though, um, reach for your weapon. Buddy, you're hurt. You're not reaching for weapons at this time. The right must be born of some powerful magic. Cephalor believes his people will perish on the road. Do what you want, that's none of my concern. I mean, um, I do believe that Cephalor thinks that his people will perish on the road, and I can kind of see that, so... And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. 
then it seems best I'd speak to Sephor. Prattle all you want. The refugees aren't my concern. Why do you want me to attack? Gain. Uh, did you not see all those other druids? Right outside. Did you not see the fact that half my people are ready to die? You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Gail, you got something to say? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Okay. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. Okay. In short, I've grown to trust you. Oh, thank you, I guess. That's gratifying to hear. I, I mean, I'm okay with <laughs> Enough with the flattery. Where is the scoring? I mean, I... The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this... condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but... Just as deadly. Okay. And what kind of condition I shall pray on your behalf? May God offer some guidance on how you might be cured. Um, I mean, so you've been lying to me this whole time. Now, can it be cured? Is it contagious? No. It cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home and Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need some details. And what kind of items are we talking about? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume the artifact? What are you telling? <laughs> are you telling me you're addicted to magic? Buddy, buddy. Oh, that's hilarious. Alright. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. Buddy, it's been days I'm gonna have since to I take your hat off. Artifact, and before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. And where do we suggest you find these artifacts? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. Oh, really? You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. I expect it as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Why exactly would I risk either of those for wizards of friend? I see that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. No, I, I like them, though. Splendid. Let's keep them around for now. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Prime for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Interesting. All right. But yeah, there's no way I can take on all of y'all right here when there is one, two, 
Oh, well, looky, looky. I see you. Just give me a moment. Just something. Please, Medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I need a little extraction out of my eye, please. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about mind flares? Why are you asking? <laughs> Over here. I got a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know them? Can you help me? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog up in my eye. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Oh! Come. Follow me. I might be able to help. Can you cure me of we any need other? To be quick. This way. Oh shit. Okay. Will you back trumpet? This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The drone I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for less grave cure. So you killed him and laid him out on the table. Is everyone being captured by mind flares these days? Didn't think that was a common experience. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity See? you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studies them. Still, we have options. I appreciate that. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we can do. Mostly because we're all infected. Thank you. And I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? No, we just have the communal mind. Protected from on high? Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. No, just on, just over there. <laughs> on the Mind Flayer ship. Uh, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. What's happening Look, here? Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. No, I don't but have you tentacles seem like yet. a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I swear my lady's name. All right, hand it over. No, <laughs> that could cure me. What about that branch of yours? Um, I mean... What's for I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. Stare, he does not you know, seem to like me. I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell What's was going on. Here? Because you should all be changing. 
There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Gee, thanks. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. It's only been a day. How do you know? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halston heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? That's okay. It just sounds like I need to... Oh, take note on a goblin camp. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. Well, to me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Ah, I might just use the, the toxin for something else, you know? I wouldn't take wisely to a little bit of food again to turn. Nothing I can steal, nothing I can have here. No other freebies. If you start to turn, I encourage you to take it. I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for the rest of us. <laughs> Alright. I think this is where we're gonna make our save though and call it for now unfortunately it is about that time where I call it as so I'm gonna go head to the gym finish up some stuff around the house and we'll continue on some more tonight games definitely uh, turning a lot more fun so I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time so then Thank you and goodbye.